Hi guys, today I'm gonna talk about my Hermes leather appointment in Paris and I got two handbags on that leather appointment, one quarter and one non-quarter. Please stay with me. Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Aksana. Thank you so, so very much for clicking on this video. Today, I wanna talk about my Hermes leather appointment. It's going to be a very, very chatty video. Help yourself with a cup of tea, juice, water, whatever you prefer drink, maybe a glass of champagne or wine, why not? And I wanna share everything, you know, what happened to me, at Paris, uh, my thoughts, my thought process, etc., etc., and as you can see clearly, it was thanks God successful. And I will share everything what I did. I don't know if some things I did right or wrong, but that's what happens. Could it be just beginner luck? You never know. You never know. Anyway, let's start it. I have even some little notes, but if I'm gonna forget something, please once again ask your questions below and if I could, I will answer. Maybe also I will do later on follow up um, when I, you know, maybe change my mind about something or after my other experience, hopefully good one as well. Anyway, so my plan, what was my plan, what, my, what was my game before I even um, went to Paris? So I actually didn't go directly from Toronto or for that matter from North America to Paris. What I ha where I went is actually first to Spain because my very, very first original plan, I want to go to Spain and do research of my potential later on in life retirements or kind of maybe snowboarding, you know in Spain because I'm in my mid 50s so right now I'm in the kind of active stage where I'm going to be in my next stage of life so I went to south of uh, <clears throat> Spain to did kind of more research of potentially maybe getting some property over there or just going for winter time etc so while I was there I knew exactly that I want to also travel at least for one week um, to Paris and when I was uh, planning to travel to Paris I specifically choose January and reason for that because I know that in January mostly you have less people in Paris so first and most it's kind of a little bit less crowded and myself personally I prefer when it's less crowded I don't really love very very crowded places the extremely crowded places they make me a, bit, a little bit nervous and not comfortable per se because I hope one day I can go to Paris in summer but when I even look in at Champs-Élysées in Paris pictures it's like you know river of people it's crazy how much people in Paris or let's say for that matter Christmas time or fashion week in Paris so I knew from very very beginning that I didn't want to go on those busiest times I want to go in less busier time the second reason because I knew if I gonna go on less busier time clearly it's going to be less expensive as well so I stayed in very very good hotel it's not five stars plus it was four star but it's right on Champs-Élysées and I'm gonna also leave the information about that uh, hotel in the description box below I maybe even gonna do the video on my channel kind of my week in Paris where I'm not gonna talk much about you know shopping etc but mostly about the hotel like you know walking on the street even eating some really nice food etc by the way if you want to see that video please comment below and I will see um, if I can do that video of course I can just make sure that you want to see that video. So anyway, my plan to go in less busiest times, etc. Then I knew that on Sunday, Hermes boutiques are closed. So I wanted to come night Sunday, meaning like I could have proper good night sleep. And then on Monday, I can kind of go and busy into action, let's say. So I plan my trip from um, Sunday night 
to Saturday evening. So I stayed full week in Paris, avoiding Sunday when there was no shopping. So that was my plan number one. And I thought that, oh my goodness, I am smart because you know, if you want to have an appointment on Monday, uh, you should make an appointment on Saturday to have um, your visit potentially, you know, leather appointment on Monday. And I was making sure that, you know, I'm planning everything, etc., etc. But when I was in Spain, I get so busy on Saturday, you know, packing my suitcases, making sure that I don't forget anything. I totally, totally forgot about making that, um, you know, uh, appointment or applying for that appointment. And I only realized this on Sunday, still nothing clicking in my head that, uh, you know, I cannot make an appointment on Sunday. I still try and try and try on Sunday to make an appointment. And it keeps saying, you know, madam, you cannot make an appointment. And I was like, what's wrong? Sorry guys, just had a sip of water. And then finally, I realized that it's Sunday and I cannot make my appointment on Monday. And I was like, damn, it means I already missed one day. And I was like, I didn't even go to Paris yet. Uh, it's already kind of like, you know, I set myself back. But then, you know, because it was actually my very first visit to Paris, I said to myself, listen, go to Paris, enjoy Paris, walk all those beautiful uh, streets, enjoy all those beautiful boutiques, eat all that wonderful food. And if leather appointment will happen, it's pretty much going to be like a cherry on top. So that was my plan. That was my game. Enjoying the Paris and if leather appointment will happen, it will be a cherry on top. Because say, if you want to buy any other items from Hermes boutique, it's still less expensive than let's say in Toronto, 100%. So now let's start to the point how many times I applied. And as you all know, you have to go to specific website. I'm going to leave link that website in the description box below to apply for your leather appointment. So as I said, I already missed my Monday appointment because I supposed to do it on Saturday and I didn't do it. But the moment I came to Paris, I pretty much schedule myself a timer every single day to start applying for the appointment every single morning. And I applied on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I applied four times. And on my fourth time, I got my appointment. And it's funny because I applied on Monday and it says uh, you're supposed to receive a reply from 8 to 8.30 in that email. Maybe I'm going to even include the picture of the actual application and then rejection. So it says that you're going to receive reply from 8 to 8.30 for the, your appointment and it's already midnight and I receive absolutely nothing. And then I fall asleep and next day on Tuesday... <coughs> When I wake up, I notice that I receive rejection email, believe it or not, somewhere around 4 o'clock in the morning. That's how late I received my rejection um, email. Then I applied on Tuesday, once again another rejection. I applied on uh, Wednesday another rejection i applied on thursday but already i kind of like you know feeling a little bit down meaning like okay it's a fourth time you know in many cultures number four it's a bad luck etc etc and i was actually um talking to my husband and literally taking bath in uh, my hotel room i was like it's already evening time and I was just taking my bubble bath with, um, you know, salts, etc. And I'm saying, listen, I'm enjoying Paris so very much. I did already some shopping at Hermes Chanel um, and Louis Vuitton. And if it's not going to happen, it means it's not meant to be. He goes, oh, don't worry, honey. He was kind of trying to calm me down. I said, okay, never mind. But he can feel that I'm already kind of a little bit down because I already set mind that, you know, the appointment is not going to happen. 
So then I'm leaving my bathroom, etc., etc. Um, I literally decided not to go anywhere for walk or having uh, dinner. I just kind of making myself sandwiches, literally in the my um, room in hotel, making myself a cup of coffee, or actually maybe I had a wine. I don't remember. Uh, definitely not coffee. Sorry, a cup of tea and sandwiches. Put in Netflix, and I thought, like you know what, I'm just gonna enjoy my evening, and that's about it. And then it happened. It was like, ding! I was like, okay, let's check email, and it was like, you know, um, we are welcoming you, inviting you to your appointment tomorrow you know at 10:30 uh, in the morning and it's uh, at flagship store i was like yeah <laughs> so happy so happy and then i was like oh my goodness oh my goodness i have to prepare myself for the appointment etc etc and then i was like my goodness it's my fourth time in many culture it's uh, bad luck number and then it's friday and it's going to be on Friday, January the 13th. I was like, oh my goodness. It's like, you know, in many cultures also the 13th, it's a bad number. <laughs> I was like, it's all around, like, you know, bad karma around this um, leather appointment. But I said, you know what? I will be positive if they're not gonna offer me any handbag at least i'm gonna have that experience that i'm gonna share with you guys with all my honest thoughts etc so the next morning obviously i put a timer on and the next morning i you know kind of making myself ready for that appointment and in fact i did video on my channel i'm gonna link it over here where i analyzing my my own outfit for that um hermes appointment because i truly believe that you have to dress apart but not kind of trying so hard but anyway if you want to watch that video what i wear exactly for my leather appointment and i analyze everything my jewelry my look um my shoes everything so i you know put my uh, outfits and um, i'm walking to boutique and i'm gonna include right now the video when i'm walking actually inside the boutique early in the morning so you can see people already in line it's about 10 20 so we'll be open at 10 so I came to boutique, it was already clearly lined up. I came there at 10.15, um, I think, 15 minutes before the appointment, but I still have to stand in line like as everybody else. And it looks like there is a two different lines. One of them just kind of join, uh, going into the boutique and the second one specifically for the leather appointment. But because I didn't even know where to go, you know, uh, I just kind of like, you know, going around because I didn't even know where to go for this leather appointment. And then I went to the desk um, on the lower level because previously I saw some girls fighting over there, asking for the appointment and, you know, they're clearly rejecting her. It was some other day. So by the way, guys, I never went to any desk appointment asking for the leather appointment because... I don't know you may get lucky but i don't know I, I i for myself personally i feel feel it's almost like you know don't do it anyway i went to that uh, leather desk and there was a few people in front of me once again asking for the appointment some of them already fighting eventually i got my time to talk to somebody and i said my leather point she goes like there is no appointment for today and I'm like, no, I have an appointment at 10.30. I just don't know where to go. She goes, oh, oh, just go upstairs. I'm like, okay, never mind. So I'm coming upstairs. There's another gentleman um, greeting me. And I said, I have my appointment. He goes, can I see your documents? So I show my passport and my, um, you know, appointment timing, confirmation, etc. So he goes, okay, um, just go to that desk. So I'm going to the desk, there is a 
really really lovely young uh, lady at that uh, desk she is like totally totally french charm she's like young brunette like you know very very friendly with a big smile but i noticed also she's kind of little bit sizing me up and down and i was also trying to be positive i was smiling i said like hi how are you she goes hello and i was like can i have a sit down she's yes absolutely have a sit down i'm like oh my goodness i'm so excited to be here i said like i cannot believe it it's friday the 13th and it's my first ever leather appointment it's actually my first ever time in paris i said like i don't know if it's a good luck or bad luck but i really hope that you're gonna make this a good luck for me she will start laughing she goes like oh my goodness yes i didn't realize you're right it's friday the 13th today i'm like yes please <laughs> so anyway then um she asked me do you want to have something to drink and i said yes uh, water she goes like do you want a sparkly or flat water i said no just a regular glass of water she goes like okay so she went um for some time and then she brought me a glass of water so we sit down and everything and she goes like so um how can i help you <coughs> and i said oh i really hope that you can help me because as i already mentioned it's my first time in paris i'm so excited your city is absolutely magical uh, your guys so lucky to live in such a beautiful historic city and i said in fact um you know um i'm from canada and my daughter is absolutely fluent in French uh, because she finished French immersion school. So she's fluent in English, French, and um, a little bit of uh, Russian as well. She goes, oh, really? I said, yes, she's absolutely fluent. And in fact, she even has a perfect French accent. She goes, how nice. And then she would start talking about her own kids, saying, oh, and I'm also trying to teach my kids English because, you know, nowadays it's important. And then she goes like, oh, but I still have a little bit of accent in my French. And I'm like, don't be worried about that because your accent is absolutely beautiful. I think French accent is the most sexiest accent in the world. I said, I have an accent because I have some Russian roots and my accent is not as sexy or not as beautiful. Sometime actually on my YouTube channel, I received some comments that my accent is really ugly and weird, but i guess <laughs> not much you can do about it because at my age you already don't change the accent or at least you're not gonna improve drastically so anyway we have this kind of uh, chatter because she asked me what i want but i kind of derail from that you know but then we chat a little bit and then she goes so anyway what can i help you with this and i said um I'm really hoping for something very, very special today because it's something that I keep asking my local boutique already for a while and it seems that it's absolutely impossible to get and I'm hoping uh, I can get and it's very special color and she goes like what color and I'm like rouge ash she goes wow rouge ash <laughs> it's not often people mention this color because people mostly go black or a tube or gold or like you know some kind of pink colors or gray and i'm like yes i love all those colors for sure but if i want to get a handbag from paris i want to have in absolutely classiest hermes red and it's uh, rouge ash and that's my dream she goes what about the hardware and i said oh you know what i'm kind of open to hardware because palladium is kind of more um you know uh, modern i would say gold of course it's classy and i said i love rose gold because i show her that i have wear my jewelry and i wear you know some palladium plated jewelry and i wear some gold uh, yellow gold so i said you see i'm mixing all my metals so i don't mind any of the hardware um she goes okay and she goes what about leather and i'm like oh you know obviously any um, regular leather would be nice um, and i don't want any exotics i told her but if 
I want any special leather that I would be dreaming about. And this is also one of the leathers that I definitely want to have in my collection. It's uh, box leather. I said, I don't know, because when I asked my local boutique, they said it's very hard to get box leather. It's mostly special um, order, and especially in Rouge Ash, it's almost impossible to get. So I said, uh, I'm putting like pretty much impossible task for you, almost like setting myself for failure. But if I could get, um, you know, something from Hermes, from flagship store, my first time in Paris, it will be rouge ash in box leather then she goes what handbag do you want and i said um once again i'm open to birkin i'm open to kelly but i want in a smaller size if it's possible kelly 25 or maybe 28 also i'm open and the uh, birkin uh would be really nice to have in size 25 but I said, before I'm set on the Birkin size 25, do you have any, like, you know, samples that I can try it on? It doesn't have to be in Rouge Ash because I'm a little bit worried about the handles, how small they are. Can I put it through my hand? She goes, yes, absolutely. So once again, she went out and she brought for me Birkin 25 in orange color and I tried to put on. And it was clearly a little bit um, difficult to put on, you know, but I was managed and I said, um, you know what, it's still manageable. But she goes like, you know, when you wear the Birkin 25, it's kind of more, you know, evening bag and you wear it by handles. And I'm like, you know what, I agree with you. I agree with you. So then she goes, okay, so if it's not... Um, quota bag, Birkin or Kelly's, are you open to any handbags? And my, you know, the heart really dropped, dropped down to my stomach. I was like, oh my goodness, it means she's not willing to offer me a quota bag. And I said, oh yes, but I was trying to be still positive and cheerful. And I'm like, oh yes, absolutely. I would love to get some non quota bags if it's possible. And, but I was like, but I kind of want it if it's possible as a second option after my quota bag. She, she started laughing again. And I said, if it's possible, I really love to have mini bolid. And I exactly mentioned because I know that in this year, it's going to be 100 years anniversary for uh, bolid. I would love to have mini bolid. Or I said, what about Constance? Is it a quota or non-quota? She goes like, no, in Paris it's non-quota. I said, if it's possible, also Constance. She goes like, do you want 24? And I'm like, mm, no, I don't think I want 24, but if it's possible, mini. She goes, okay, I have your wish list. Let's see what I can do. And then she left. And it feels like, an eternity she left I was like oh my goodness what I gonna do if she gonna offer me something it would be really 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 joy but if nothing gonna happen at least I had my experience you know at leather appointment Paris and you know what Oksana stay positive stay positive positivity prevails so anyway, I was sitting over there trying to kind of browse on my phone, drinking my water, looking through the glass. And I was um, also um, watching other couples. And I noticed some of the couples, they're acting like really extremely posh. And, you know, they're talking in kind of manners that they're like, you know, superior. And I was trying to be really, really friendly. So I think she left literally for about half an hour and I was sitting over there already kind of like, you know, just like that. And then all of a sudden I heard the voice, all right, can you follow me? I was like turning around and I see her with the two boxes. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> So, and we went to totally different room and she goes, okay, I have something for you. And then she start um, unboxing 
and she kind of like pull a little bit of the handles and she goes rouge ash <laughs> and then she pulled this beauty out and this is um, Hermes Birkin 25 Salier <laughs> very hard to get box leather rouge ash with palladium plated hardware oh my goodness look at this beauty I literally I literally like I was like, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. So uh, she opened this beauty. I'm going to include right now a little clip also once again from the boutique uh, when she just um, uh, removed this handbag from the, the dust bag. So that was the footage directly from the boutique. I, she clearly opened everything for me I tried this handbag and I was like of course yes of course yes so now I have my absolute dream handbag I always want to have rouge ash in especially in box leather and people when you worry about the box leather when you say it scratches don't worry about it it's it, yes, it can be scratched easily, but it also can, you know, kind of buffed out also very, very easily. If you look at any vintage um, Hermes handbags, it's mostly box. And especially when it comes to rouge ash, it develops patina and it becomes like kind of like deep cherry color. I absolutely love it. The only one thing you have to worry about box leather, it's blistering from the rain. So if it's rainy, don't wear your box leathers or have your uh, protective cover but I wouldn't even recommend to to wear it so she opened for me this handbag and I was like oh my gosh yes 100% I'm taking it then I said so maybe when look what is inside the second um, box and she goes okay and then from the second box she opened um, she and then from the second box she um, remove this gorgeous mini bolide and it's uh, let me just adjust lighting it's in uh, more pale color absolutely gorgeous with the uh, once again um palladium hardware just want to make sure that there is enough lighting with the palladium plated hardware and i was like Really, really really cute so this is mini bolide in ever color with the palladium plated hardware in mauve pale very very popular color and it's a new um, season color and I was like yes I absolutely taken it and then at the end I was like any chance for constance <laughs> I was just keep pushing my luck she goes like not this time I was like maybe next time she goes yes definitely maybe next time so that was my appointment that was my appointment at Hermes I got two handbags at that appointment I believe that I it went quite well really really lucky any tips that um, if I could get so first and most uh, as I said make sure that you plan what you're gonna wear because at the end of the day first we judge the book by its cover and then we start reading it so i i i think you should still kind of put a little bit of effort of dressing yourself up though i heard the story when people like you know white t-shirt broken down flip-flops and they get quarterback it could happen but at the end of the day it's always a human factor you know that we should kind of like each other let's put it this way um the second tip once again when it comes to the dressing up and um, that's what i truly believe please don't try to overdress because at the end of the day there are still people that are working for the salary and when you come and acting all like posh and special etc etc i don't think it's work out in my humble opinion maybe some people prefer this kind of posh attitude but i don't think if i would have be a salesperson and somebody come in and acting 
way more superior than me it's already kind of gives like really wrong vibe another thing try to avoid kind of competitor brands if like for example i wouldn't wear like kind of like you know flashy chanel um jewelry or flashy chanel jacket meaning that you prefer chanel more over the uh, hermes so kind of like this um uh, when it comes to the the dressing style but as i said i have video on my channel analyzing my own personal looks what i wear at my uh, leather appointment one more thing uh, i want to mention you know sometimes people will so i see a bunch of these videos on the youtube tips for you how to score a bag etc etc and i kind of believe that it's it should be worded more of my personal experience what i purchased and what i did to score the handbag because at the end of the day there is no formula um you know you may get an appointment and buy the handbag literally with no purchase history etc but you will be one in a million normally you know it should be some kind of massaging you know before it happens so anyway what i'm trying to say you know don't take it with a grain of salt of everything even my own video you know what people saying like do this do that um do yourself you know what i mean be yourself try, i mean obviously be positive be friendly but at the end of the day just be yourself another tips i would say it's really really works out well it's um you know do some kind of pre-spending if you're hoping to get uh, an appointment because my plan game as i said i know that in paris uh, items are less expensive comparing to our local toronto boutique so i thought before then i was like really luxury sober shopping sober for eight months so i thought like i'm not gonna buy anything from the local boutique but when i'm gonna go there i'm gonna have to I have the list of items that I want to purchase because first I know it's going to be less expensive second it kind of will boost my profile so and I got a pair of sneakers pair of boots pair of orange I got a scarf for my husband so I got only four items but when I came for the appointment she actually um, look at my profile and she goes oh I can see that you love our shoes and scarves and I was like oh yes I have some ready to wears from my local boutiques etc oh one more thing I forgot to mention at my um when she offered me also two handbags she said do you want anything else and that's exactly what I said oh I already did pretty much all my shopping she was like yes I saw on your profile and uh, I said oh but can I get some rodeo for this cutie and she brought for me also rodeo and I'm gonna link also video over here unboxing of all other items that I got in um, uh, Paris I also gonna include unboxing of these two handbags my quota and my non quota so uh, do a little bit of pre-spend for sure so I would say three major tips dress uh, properly but not overdone be positive be yourself don't try to act unnatural and do a little bit of pre-spending don't go over the board like you know people are doing 20,000 30,000 unless if you have a plan to buy for 20 30,000 but I would say buy what you want really purchase from the uh, Hermes uh, Paris but not more than that in the hopes that you're going to score the bag so that was my experience I hope it was helpful for you guys please put your comments below did you have your own personal experience because you know it sometimes could be positive and negative you never know because at the end of the day as I said it's a human factors sometimes we don't click and not much you can do about it not much you can do about it so that's about it for today and I will see you on my next one. Bye-bye.